Can you hear that? Listen very carefully. The bird song is arresting. I'm up on the morn here in St. Lucia, and this is a 140 year old French style home, and it's basically perfect for foodies, but absolutely great if you love flora and fauna as well. I'd like to share it with you. Come on, let's check out the Pink Plantation House up on the Morn, right here in St. Lucia. Come on. There's so much to see here, from the very large copper pots, reminiscent of the plantation era, to gorgeous white ginger lilies. I mean, this place is really, really magical. And there's such a great collection of palms as well, from these fabulous date palms. There are royal palms. There are some fascinating plants here. And if you love heliconias and tropical flora, this is a really great treat. Look at how they've used the bamboo right here. And look at that, a metal sheet that they have distressed to create a lovely casual sconce. I mean, I just absolutely find this place very, very inspiring. The moment you step into the Pink Plantation House, you're immediately transported back to a charming time. I mean, you can see that Caribbean vernacular style of architecture really fantastic i love that lighting fixture and then throughout the house you're going to be seeing lovely artwork done by renowned saint lucian artist michelle elliott but you know all these ceramic pieces really really very charming and here we are a traditional um, chair done with the screw pine really really fantastic you do see well i'm wearing it today but certainly we always celebrate our madras national fabric and no bona fide walk in the past would be complete without this the mortar and pestle perfect to help you to create those those flowers that we love in the caribbean including cassava flowers, these remnants, as you know, of this Creole cuisine, because you know, St. Lucia's culture is certainly informed by all the people who have lived here. So there are Amerindian influences, African influences, the European influences, East Indian influences. So you know you're in for a treat with the food, right? Let's continue our tour. Just so much inspiration right a 140 year old french creole house i mean pretty amazing have you seen this lighting fixture i mean this is pretty amazing right pretty extravagant again it's that distressed metal it looks like copper to me um really really I love that. I actually want to replicate that. But here you are, wooden floors, and if these walls could talk, nothing like really great hardwood floors, eh? Wow. And then there is a gallery on site, and you're actually going to be seeing quite a bit of the hand-painted items, which will extend themselves as tablescape. And again, these are all hand-painted by St. Lucian artist Michelle Elliott. You'll actually see quite a bit of her work throughout many of our hotels here in St. Lucia, as well as in our villas and apartments. There's still more to see. Let's go. So again, the um, collection of palms is so evident here from the Traveler's Palm, the Bismarck Palm, and this is definitely Heliconia heaven. So as many of our um, hotels and independent restaurants do in St. Lucia, there's always a farm to table, garden to table experience. So you can always be sure of what you're getting that is fresh coming straight from the garden to your plate. And behold, in the distance, that is a fabulous view 
of Castries, the capital of St. Lucia. So you can see that our location is just really fantastic. Fantastic views of Castries. You can certainly see VG Beach. I see all the way over to the Pigeon Island National Landmark. So really a fantastic view. You can literally just feel the stress just melting away. And then the fantastic ivy growing all over the front of the house. So as I mentioned, the food is fabulous here at the Pink Plantation House, but so are the grounds. Just perfect for a wedding, a reception, or maybe you have that special group that wants something a little bit more customized. And of course, you could definitely see us doing the cocoa dance in here, right? This is one of the large copper pots that was such a staple in the sugar era here in the Caribbean. And for those folks that really like their spices, I mean, this is a must have, especially in St. Lucia. This is cinnamon. Have you seen this before? Mm, rich and perfect for porridge or in your sea moss drinks. This is definitely a favorite in St. Lucian cuisine. You know, this is what travel is really about. It's finding that thing that you are passionate about and really enjoying it. And this is Heliconia heaven for sure. I mean, from the giant red to these fantastic, I love this color combination. And, um, for folks that really like to explore gardens when they travel, this would definitely be a great spot. So if you really want to take home a curated piece of St. Lucia, well, look no further than the gallery here at the Pink Plantation House. I mean, hello, from a teapot to some fantastic platters. The, I mean, these are the very anthuriums that you find outside. I actually love this. I'm not sure what this plant is but it just reminds me of those Vanda orchids from the garden. I always like these for my espresso. These are hand painted ceramics and as I mentioned you will find them on the tablescape here at the Pink Plantation house and then these are fantastic for setting your table in that tropical splendor. Lots of different designs, very very colorful, really just gives me a sense of pride because this is certainly what you think about the color and vibrance of our Caribbean people or culture certainly as as you see the inspiration in the giant red heliconias the pineapples the papaya I mean I think Michelle Elliott captures it so well and so many so many designs I mean you know, I, I just love the attention to detail because even the chairs that are in the restaurant show that um, pineapple, which is the symbol of hospitality, right? So it's, it's not an accident. It's, it's meant to be that way. It's meant to say welcome. And here you find the traditional St. Lucian chair with the screw pine and the jute, love it. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. So you know the speciality here is Creole cuisine but you can certainly get your international continental favorites as well. And because we are proud to be Lucian, we don't serve bread, it's bakes. And I think I told you before, they're called bakes. They're not baked. They are fried, fried goodness. And by the way, you can't not have these. No diets in St. Lucia, okay? Diets do not work. They're not welcome in St. Lucia. This is, this is amazing. Mm. They melt in your mouth. And then, breadfruit. Fried bits of breadfruit 
with a fabulous salsa. Mm. Let me try this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you know what? There is a catch of the day. There is the local soup. They're serving Dorado today. And then there are also acras. So the acra is the codfish, which is served with a Creole sauce. There is the pink house salad, tamarind glazed shrimp kebabs. There are pork medallions. I'm not gonna give you the whole menu. There's lamb, jumbo shrimp, ribeye, steak. It's on the menu. And then a whole host of salads as well. Really, really good. And you see the tablescape again. Michelle Elliott original. You know, my experience today really has underscored the importance of not collecting things, but having experiences. Experiences like this, like travel, they really do help to lower your blood pressure. So make sure that when you come to visit us, you are making an arrangement to go out and taste St. Lucia, literally. And we thank you for visiting us. Until our next adventure, we're at the Pink Plantation House in St. Lucia, inviting you to come and let her inspire you. La, 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 la,